Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And when it comes to stars in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's no denying that one of the hardest things that possibly could come with being an actor is keeping the plot points and other secrets and spoilers completely under wraps until after a movie releases. And with Black Widow on its way, we've really enjoyed getting to see the various cast members that are set up to appear in this movie, kind of struggling a little bit from time to time in interviews when they're asked a challenging question that they might not actually be able to answer just yet. And it's incredibly impressive to see how these amazing actors are able to dance around the subject and avoid giving away any spoilers. So today we thought it'd be fun to take a look at the cast from Black Widow doing just that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So to start things off, we thought it would be interesting if we took a look at the entire cast trying their best to talk about the new movie while also not revealing too much and also not revealing the plans of the future. And Florence Pugh, who plays Yelena in this new film, talked a bit about her future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with her character, both within Black Widow and how the production team can improve her character in the future, which is very interesting just because while they can't talk about any plans for other things coming from the MCU down the road, it is interesting still to see how they try their best to not also get caught up in revealing too much. Whatever future there is, I would, I would love to um, I suppose following her footsteps in that way, you know, how, how, how do we make, uh, how do we make Elena different? How do we make, uh, her stand out? How do we make her powerful? And that's just going to be an ongoing, I hope, conversation. Scarlett Johansson ran into an issue when she had to answer questions during an interview and had to talk about what it was like dealing with knowing that her character would be dying in Avengers Endgame, but also having to deal with the fact that she couldn't talk to anyone about it because of how tightly kept the secrets are within the Marvel Cinematic Universe before filming and before the movie enters theaters. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page. And let's go ahead and jump into this story. Where were you when you found out Black Widow was going to die and how how did you react? I was I was home on the phone uh, with Kevin Feige, and I don't know how I reacted. I think I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I think all of us sort of were thinking we kind of would all joke with one another about how who was going to get off uh, in the end. There was also an interesting interview where we saw Scarlett Johansson struggle to answer some questions when she was asked where and how Black Widow fits into the timeline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And obviously this is a tricky question because while there is an official answer to this, the movie may span different parts of the timeline as well. And without revealing anything like that, she really had to be careful with how to answer this question. Uh, let's see, how, how can I marvelize this for you? It is, um, you'll get good at this too. Um, I'm just yeah, gonna say absolutely listen. nothing yeah. with saying so much. This is obviously pre-Infinity War and post-Civil War. Okay. There, that's So it. you were already a badass. that answer. During a red carpet interview with Kevin Feige, he was asked a question as to whether or not Kate Shortland, the director of Black Widow, would return in the future, and he really couldn't give any type of answer. Now, Kevin Feige is a pro when it comes to not giving direct answers, but of course, if this movie ends up being popular, a lot of fans may ask for this director to come back and do some sort of sequel. She was the one that brought us uh, our amazing director, Kate Shortland, um, and I am excited to continue working with her in any way possible if we're so lucky. I, I was gonna say, is there a possibility she could like come back in some way? <laughs> Nice answer, okay. <laughs> in another interview with Good Morning America, Scarlett Johansson talked a little bit about Black Widow finally getting to release, but is of course faced with the daunting question, what can you say about the movie? Which obviously makes someone's mind go straight to the things they definitely can't say about a movie. But nonetheless, Scarlett Johansson does the best to elaborate on that question. And we've been waiting for this for a while because Black Widow's release date was delayed 
because of the pandemic. And when you were on a couple years ago, we were asking you, we were like, is this a prequel? Is it a resurrection, a comeback? What is it? You said it was a revelation. So what is revealed <laughs> in this that you can get away with telling us? Oh my gosh, a revelation. David Harbour, on the other hand, really couldn't hold back his excitement when talking about this movie finally releasing. And he talks about the intake it took for him filming this movie. And in general, it's really interesting just to see how he gets to kind of elaborate a little bit without revealing too much. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very tired of uh, keeping secrets. I'm very tired of talking, <laughs> but not talking about it. I'm really excited for people to see the movie. I mean, I, I can't wait for people. I'm really proud of this movie. I think it's beautiful. I think it's incredible. And I can't wait for people to see it. Now, are you proud that people are going to see you as a superhero, right? Superheroes have to be in superhero shape. Did you get in superhero shape for this? Florence Pugh was also asked a question in regards to her development and her process when it comes to landing things, like some of the stunts that kind of go into the film, and Florence Pugh does her best to elaborate without revealing any of the major action sequences in the film. No, that, that scene originally wasn't in the script, so explain how it ended up in the movie. Bless. So I obviously did a lot of uh, stunt training for this movie and, and we, the stunt people were saying, you need to come up with your own pose. What are you going to do? And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know. Is it safe to land like that? And they were like, no, actually. David Harbour talked openly about Black Widow a little bit. And of course, there was that big Tony Stark rumor as to whether or not he would make some sort of subtle cameo appearance in this film. And he was asked directly if he knew about those rumors circulating around. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder. We do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. So I was wondering if- He's not? <laughs> <laughs> was that something- Spoiler alert. Was that yeah. something that, um, I guess, were you aware of that beforehand? Or what, like, yeah, still, mean, when you see these rumors, are you like, hmm? Yeah, I mean, I- so much stuff online it's hilarious what what you know online people think is for a lot of it's just clickbait it's like you you know then of course there was a lot of people in the mcu always wondering about what happened in budapest just from the other avengers films and scarlett johansson did tease a little bit about that type of revelation is there any easter eggs that you can go like well, okay, maybe you can give me one. Like, are we gonna finally get to know what happened in Budapest? Yes, you get you you finally get to know what happens in Budapest. Mm. See what I did there? Yeah, you said Pest. That's right. I said Pest. Yeah, you said Pest. Um, uh, have, you, have you been to Budapest? Uh. I have been to Budapest. We've also seen Kevin Feige tease an Easter egg that would be in the movie at the red carpet event, but doesn't of course give anything away, just making fans want to know even more. And a lot of what he taunts her with are things from her past that we didn't know about, that we learn and see firsthand about in this movie. There's also an Easter egg that originally was going to appear first in Black Widow and then show up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And because the pandemic's the only thing within our phase four that was twisted a little bit. So for fans that watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there's something waiting for them uh, as an Easter egg in this film. There was also this moment on Jimmy Kimmel where Rachel Wise, where she actively kind of messes with Jimmy Kimmel about the fact that she's not allowed to say anything and anything as small as even her character's last name could be considered a spoiler. <laughs> I'm very well. I think we're not allowed to say Melina's second name, though, right? What's, what's that? Will you say that again? Sorry, I couldn't hear I, I think we are prohibited from saying Melina's second name. I think it's a, a, a cinematic, Marvel Cinematic Universe secret. Is it a secret that I just ruined? I believe so. It's true. I always tell people that. I'm like, you don't really want to know. Right. There's so few surprises these days. Like, just, you know, have have the patience and sit through the movie and, and enjoy it, you know, enjoy the ride. And this, this movie is definitely full of a lot of surprises for sure um and uh yeah it was, it's i'm so excited it's finally coming out so what did you guys think of all of these moments of the black widow cast kind of dodging spoilers are you excited for this film and are you excited to see this film finally coming to movie theaters and on streaming services at the same time 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every day of the week. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.